How's it going, guys? It is me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week six of the Pokemon Premier League season two. This week we're up against Dave, also known as Shroom Raver, uh, who is doing incredibly well this season with the Parasect Germain. So heading into this game, spoiler warning, we did win last week against Jack to put ourselves three and two for the season. My opponent though, Mr. Shroom Raver, is also three and two. With us pretty much approaching the end of the season, we're both very much in contention for playoffs. So this is very much a must win for both of us. So um, me and Dave go way back, um, like too far back. Some of you probably weren't even born. So this is going to be more than just a game. It's going to be personal. There's pride at stake here, not just trying to get that W. So we'll move into the team to see what we are uh, going to bring against Dave to hopefully get that dub. As you can see, the matchup is on the screen now. Uh, different format to usual because I've got to take a screenshot when I had my uh, preparation document up to date. Uh, I, I've changed it since then and I'm too lazy to go and change it back. So this is the draft. As you can see on Dave's side, we have got the Garchomp, the Hisuian Samurai, the Mew, Enamorous, Terra Sinistra, um, which is Sinisterif, Flying, I tried. Terra Ghost Steel Fairy. Fortress Entei Raikou Okidogi. Uh, the Terra Zangoose Normal Fighting Ghost. And also the Terra Charger Bus. The Electric Bug and Water uh, Terrors for that thing. So, uh, immediately looking at his team. Um, I think casting my memory back because we played this a few weeks ago and I built even longer before that. Um, I very much expect Fortress to come here, and I very much expect Okidogi to come here. Okidogi shuts down the Urshifu really well, unless I want to bring Zen Headbutt. But then again, it gives me real full move syndrome on the Urshifu. Garchomp is a maybe, because Corviknight shuts it down really well, but it does obviously get fire moves. Um, Samurott is very likely to come, because obviously Ceaseless Edge is a broken move. Mew can do anything, so Mew is almost guaranteed to come. Enamorous is... A possibility there's a few things that I can kind of check enamorous with but also I kind of struggle to deal with it um, but I do potentially have things like uh, Cleavor, Gardevoir can tank some hits, Kyurem, Regieleki, um, Corviknight to some kind of extent, Iron Moth all check it really well so it might have a hard time here. Sinister is a problem because the Terrors and it's a really good Terramon as well and obviously it has Strength Sap, it has Setup, it has Powerful Stab, Ghost, Grass, and also Fairy if he, or Steel if he wants to Terra as well. Fortress is a very possible bring here because it does help with my Gardevoir, which otherwise kind of runs a bit rampant. It's also a really reliable Hazard Remover as well as Setup Mon for Dave. Um, Entei I very much expect to come because it, it's a really good answer to potential Shaman and the Gardevoir and the potential Kyurem as well if I want to go for a nice move. Also partially helps with Moths, something like an AV set. Raikou is a maybe as to whether that thing will come or not. It really cannot touch Gastrodon, but it obviously it really helps against the Moth, the Corviknight, the Cleavor, um, and the Kyurem. So it's a possibility. We've already mentioned Doki Doki. Zangoose could be a problem if you want to bring Terra Ghost because I don't actually have like a, a ghost resist outside of Greedent. Um, and then there's Charger Bug, which the only reason that thing would come is for webs. But my team's relatively slow, so I don't think he'd be bringing webs. Um, so looking at the team I brought, we're going to start off with Iron Moth. Um, I am boots in this thing because Agility Moth as an end game works really well. Uh, against stage team. So we've got Fiery Dance, Agility, Sludge Wave, and Dazzling Gleam. Um, I think initially I might have wanted to be Booster, but I think Agility... I oh, know, sorry, I think originally I was actually meant to be Power Herb and Meteor Beam for the Entei, um, if he decided to bring it as, like, the check for Moth. Um, but I think Sludge Wave, two Sludge Waves would probably be enough, unless he was, like, max Bedef, max HP AV. I think Meteor Beam will probably still kill through that. So, uh, very much the end game on. The other sort of five here are here to kind of like bulk and chip things down with Iron Moth being the end game. 
Next, we have got Choice Scarf Gardevoir. Now, I've mentioned he obviously has Entei. He obviously has the Fortress. If he does bring both, that's annoying. Um, but if he only brings one or brings neither, then Fairy is a very free typing against Dave's team. Um, and I can also afford to be Modest Scarf, um, which means Moon Blast is going to hit really hard. I have a lot of natural bulk anyway. I also am packing the trick in case I do want to try and catch the uh, Fortress, for example. Moonblast, Psychic, Mystical Fire kind of completes the, um, the... I get the best coverage for Dave's team, really. And Trace being Trace is always nice. You know, I could Trace like a last ditch rough skin if I want to try and pick up some chip on Garchomp. Um, it will help with potentially Enamorous if I can trace Contrary. Um, yeah, lots of cool things that I could trace this week. But I, overall, Psychic and Fairy is really effective against Dave's team. So it seems to make sense that once I try and bring an offensive guard of one. Next, we've got Cleavor. And as you'll see, we are bringing the Double Scarfer. Very simple EV spread. It's there to speed tie with the Samurott if he does decide to bring it. Um, Stone Act U-Turn X is a close combat. They're kind of like the only moves that I really need. Physically defensive um, Fortress can switch into this every time, but only like three or four times. Otherwise, Stone Axe will just keep chipping it down. It's gonna have to try and spin away the rocks so I can continuously just hit Stone Axe against it until it wants to maybe click a body press or an, an, a steel move of some kind. U-Turn, obviously there for momentum. x -Scissor. Bug is also very effective into Dave's team and everything that kind of resists Bug. Is weak to rock um so the coverage on this thing is really nice as well it also helps me check with uh entei because entei is a pokemon i struggle with close combat is just kind of there as, as as coverage um next up we've got the specially defensive um corviknight i forgot what the uh the name of this bird was basically here to kind of be some kind of answer to the uh enamorous obviously i know enamorous gets mystical fire for that reason i'm definitely not running uh, mirror armor because I obviously don't want to pass on the special attack drops to the enamorous because it has contrary which probably means it will then increase its special attack so um, definitely don't want to do that I think the other main reason I had to bring this thing was he has a samurai he has charge bug spikes and um, sticky web are a real possibility against me so defog kind of had to come which meant Corviknight kind of had to come because Regieleki had a pretty bad matchup in this case um, so that's Corviknight cool. like running leftovers just for a bit of health regeneration, general checking of specially attacking Mons on his team. Next we have the Gastrodon, max Fizz death because of Entei. Uh, Earth Power, Ice Beam, Recover and Spikes gives me lots of nice coverage. Spikes is just a really good uh, entry hazard against his team because a lot of them are grounded. Um, so constant 12% chip is going to be really nice. Uh, it's my answer to, I say answer, it's my check to Entei basically. But if he's running Trial bra Braze, Blaze, then that could be a slight issue. Um, I really hate that the fact that they decided to give everything grass coverage. It means Mud Boys are just crying in hell at the moment. But yep, that's Gastrodon, just here to be annoying and set up spikes. And then finally we have got a Physical Defensive Shaman as well with Terrifier. So like a backup answer to Entei. Um, but also it's here to kind of check Garchomp in case he does bring it. Um, I say check because obviously, as I've mentioned, Garchomp gets fire moves. It's okay against um, the Samurott as well, unless he decides to bring x -Scissor for whatever reason. But um, just literally heavy G boots, free attacks, synthesis for um, recovery. Because for once in my life, I don't actually have to worry about uh, weather affecting the synthesis so that's the team it was a while ago since I built it um, so I'm I'm sorry that it's not as in-depth as you might expect normally um, but let's see how we get on against Dave in the battle okay everyone we're here for week six of the Pokemon Premier League this week we're against Shroom Raver the coach of the Parasect Germain um, both three and two as I've probably mentioned a million times in this video already. Um, both of us pushing for the higher part of the playoffs now. If we win this game, we'll both, uh, well, one of us will be four and two, one of us will be three and three. It's not the end of the world if we lose this game, but um, I would love to win. However, I think my matchup is absolutely dreadful here. Absolutely dreadful. I've had to leave Urshifu behind. I've had to leave Kyurem behind. Like, a lot of my hard hitters just 
do not work against this team and it's because of a very few specific Pokemon. So, um, game plan is get up hazards, weaken the more specially bulky things on this team, set up an agility with Moth, sweep with Moth. That's literally the end game plan. So if I can get rocks up to stay, um, or spikes, both ideally, then I think we'll be good. Um, let me just tell him that I'm ready to search. And good luck, have fun. Uh, let's put on the, uh, let's put on the Paradise Protection Protocol music for this game. Um, <clears throat> let's actually get up my calcs and let's get up my notepad. All right, this is the moment of truth. Does he bring the Fortress? Because that is the, he does, and the Dogi. So he doesn't bring Enamorous. Oh man, I should have bought Urshifu. Uh, I should have bought Urshifu. He doesn't bring Sinister though. That thing was, uh, or Sinistar, whichever one's the big one. Um, he does bring Chomp, new, no charge bugs, so no webs. But he does bring uh, Summer Rot, so you know I need to defog on my Corbin Knight for that reason. Entei is a huge pain in my ass. Um, I have to keep Gastron around for that thing. Uh, Summer Rot, Fortress, and Okie Dogie, which I knew would come. The good thing about this is no Raikou, which I am shocked by, because he really struggles to kill Corbin Knight once Entei goes down. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be bulky, Entei, but I think my lead is going to be Gardevoir. Is it? Is it going to be Gardevoir? Is it going to be... Uh, we'll go Cleavol, because I'm Scarfed. I think it will bring out the Chomp, if that's not his lead already. U-turn, even though if it's rough skin, it'll do good for me. So, um, yeah, Cleavor, Moth. So Agility Moth will outspeed anything on his, on his side, which is great. So Cleavor, Moth, Gardevoir. Gardevoir does really well once Entei and Fortress are either dead or weakened here. Um, I can just talk to you last. So he goes Tagarum, which is the Samura. And I'm going to lead. Oh, is this going to be a turn one speed tie? Um, is it going to be a turn one speed tie? Now, um, let's show only my input sets. Cleavor versus... Samurott, Hisui. Um, Yusei doesn't kill if he's got no investment. I need this thing. Um, flip turn, Razor Shell kills me. Flip turn does not. I'm gonna get Yusei, I'm gonna risk the speed tie here. I win the speed tie, that's huge. Oh. Is he Sash? He's Sashed. Interesting. Very interesting. I would not have predicted that at all. Um, does he click Caesar's Edge here? Or does he click a water move? I think he clicks Caesar's Edge. I think. He's Sashed, so he's not banded. He's not Life Orb or anything. Um... Does he click a water move? Does he just want to get his spikes up? He's not a speedy Samurott, then Shaman out speeds. So that's a huge turn one. This Samurott is terrifying for um, Shaman if I want to terrify her. But also for um, let's fill out the rest of my team, Gastro and Corbin Knight. Um, does he click knock? I am defog. So if he wants to go into something like the Okie Dogi, then I should be able to defog. And if I can get my own hazards up, this thing dies upon entry. Um, so if I can get in, 
Entei. What has he got for removal? He's obviously got Fortress. So if I get a Hazard up, that means Fortress has to come in. Does he want to keep this thing? Aqua Jet is a huge problem. And if I can eliminate Aqua Jet, then Moth, that he lets it go. Okay, he crits me. He crits me! Um, yeah, he crits me, so that's annoying. So Shaman goes 1-0. It's not a 6-0. We are happy with that. Um, so Samurai goes down. And I have got the defog. And I can defog these away. Pretty much on either the Fortress or the Dogi. Or the Chomp, maybe. Although that's set up. That's bait. That's so bait. Um, I think Entei comes in here. If Entei comes in, I click... Um, I click... What's it called? Terrifier. Um, in case he does then go for a fire move and I can just get a fat earth power off. Or maybe... Synthesis. Maybe. Um, he might be stomping Tantrum if he does. Uh, decide to come in with Entei here. He does come in with Entei. Choice land. Right. So if I Terra Fire on Shaman. <sighs> Nothing kills me if he's not banned. Uh, other than Stomping Tantrum. Stomping Tantrum definitely kills if he's max defense. So I'm going to Terrifier. I'm going to click Earth Power because if I can damage this thing, Gardevoir becomes incredibly free. Maybe I could have Synthesis, but I just, I just want the damage on this. I just want damage on this. Um... Because if I can set up rocks, I'm gonna terrify it. Because this thing isn't gonna help me for this thing isn't gonna help me with guard jump anymore. Um, is he weakness policy? Probably should have gone Gastrodon actually. Now I think about it, I didn't even think about that play. And Gastrodon is like a, an answer for all this thing specifically. Uh, should have clicked synthesis. That was good damage though. That was really good damage. Is weakness policy. This policy. Okay, that's fine. But Cleavor switches into this thing. As does Gastrodon. Question mark. Um, if you're not banded, you're plus two. If I go into Cleavor now, Extreme Speed does 29 to 34. So as long as I hit a <laughs> stone axe, which is a big ask, um, I should have clicked synthesis. I should have clicked synthesis there. That's really annoying. I'm really surprised he's been this policy and I really thought this thing would be bulky because this thing keeps so much in check. Oh man, I wish I clicked. I should have clicked synthesis. It's such a throw. Oh, I'm playing bad. I could have been in such a good position. Um, fix extreme speed, fine by me. So I go Cleavor. He's not Scarf. I'm gonna re like reveal that I am Scarf here. So do I click U-turn? Because I have got a max defense Gastrodon. Okay. I'm gonna go into this thing, make it so clearly obvious that I am Scarfed. Uh, he does obviously still have the spikes up as well. That's an issue, so I need to get into Core Knight somehow. Um, if I get rocks up, this thing takes a lot of damage, which is nice. Extreme speed. So if he clicks extreme speed here, then I get a switch out. Do I want to switch out? Probably not. Um, what's he got for this thing? He's got okie dokie still, which I think he switched. He switches out. He has to switch out here. He stays in. Absolute mad lad. <clears throat> That's very annoying. Um... go gastro. I have to go gastro. I could have clicked stone axe there. This man's in my head now. I should have just synthesized on the shaman. This could have gone so differently. 
Your sacred fires, man. Don't burn. Okay, good. Yeah, no burn. Nice. Um, I'm really surprised you didn't bring Sinistra. Really, really surprised you didn't bring Sinistra. Um, do I recover? I don't think he's got anything that can kill me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click recover here. He trailblazes. Oh no. Trailblaze, Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed. Oh, I'm, I'm throwing this game big time. I think I just get swept by Entei now. I didn't even look at the fact it gets... Uh, what's it called? Oh, I'm just clicking Stone Axe. I just get swept by this thing now. Do I look at Sacred Fire? This, this thing just sweeps. Um, incredibly quick uh, game here. Uh, I think the only thing that could potentially take a hit is Moth. Uh, and he'll have Stomping Tantrum for that. So that's just a terrible, terrible game for me here. Uh, all from an overprediction. Uh, I'm going to click Slash Wave. Yeah, here's the Tantrum. Oh my god. Uh, the... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Uh, Dave's got absolute conies, and I can't believe he just did that. This is a this is a very quick game. Um, let's just breathe, bird. Sacred fire will kill. Yeah. Oh my god. Unbelievable read. Uh, it's a five-zero loss. I. Don't know what to say. I could have easily won this if I played this differently. I played a rocket clue. Um. I I don't know what to say. Um. Lock myself into Moonblast because that's all I can do. Uh. Yeah. Good game, Dave. Don't really have a lot to say about that. Really shit game from me. One, I should have synthesized. Two, I thought he would have switched for sure. Stone Axe was so free against this thing. He has Okie Dogie, he has Garchomp, he has Fortress. I just had no reason to believe he was staying in. And the fact he did meant I lost. So, good game, Dave. I'm salty. Not about his good play, of course, but just about in general. I shouldn't have lost that fiber. I shouldn't. I think I had the means to actually do okay there, but played poorly. So, uh, good game. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Obviously, it's a really short one this time, so yeah, I haven't really got much more to say. So, on to week seven. Um, if you made it to the end, I will say I've had a pretty tough week, and the building for this game was rough because my fiance's mother has sadly been diagnosed with terminal cancer this last week, so um, my mind really hasn't been on it. Here come all the Johns now, but um, yeah. Pretty rough loss. I'm going to stop rambling and I'll see you next week. Bye.